guys, today I'm going to show you how to change your oil on a 2001 Mitsubishi Lancer. Um, I believe it's the CE model. Um, so, yeah, um, first we're just going to check around some give you uh, ramps. So, if you have caravan leveler ramps, they're fine as well. Um, yeah, I've just got some cheap set that I bought from Super Cheap. So, I'm just going to check around to those. Alright, now she's on ramps, ready to go. So, I'm just going to show you the things you need. Um, so I've just put her on the ramps and then I've also got on the back where you can see the green wheel chocks Just always better to be safe If you don't have wheel chocks, you've got a brick Anything like a piece of wood is better than nothing So once you've got that, you're ready to see the things you need and then we'll get under the car So what you're going to need, obviously you're going to need some oil I've got a 5 litre, I've got extras but I'm pretty sure this engine requires I think it's 3.8 to Four liters for oil tank plus fi uh, the filter. So and then after we've got that, we've also got the oil filter, which is Ryko. Um, I got the Z four eleven. That's for the make of the car. And then I've got some new crush washers for the oil drain plug. But yeah, so that's what you're gonna need for the oil. So and I'm also gonna need a oil drain pan. So I've got this cheap one from Super Cheap. I think it's a set with that and the funnel. So. Yeah, you're gonna need that. Also, don't forget to keep any like you got any milk chunks or spare chunks to put the old oil into. So yeah, you can dip it into that and take it into your local uh, auto parts store. I assume she takes it for free. I know, so I always drop mine off there. They just yeah. So just a reminder to keep something available to put it into. You will also need the socket set and the socket wrench, or you could use a spanner. I just prefer to use these because these seem more reliable for me and just easier to crack the nuts with but so if you mine specifically was a 17 millimeter or an even but yeah you can either use these these two items or you can just grab a spanner if you have a spanner then you can either have one of these so the left is a oil filled rent it's it's like a universe but it's not the best but then you've got something on the right which you have to get um the one fit for your car because it's all different sizes this one is from for, for a different car but it is better you can put it on your socket and it's so much easier to undo with that but yeah so if you want to spend the extra couple of dollars and get the thing on the right i recommend it. but if not use the oil filter wrench just before we go under the car just want to say pop the bonnet and just pop open the oil fuel cap just like that and just let it sit there and yeah just want to make sure it can open before you drain the oil and you can't somehow get that open it's just a good thing to do first but yeah so that's ready to just go under and drain the oil so what you're going to do is you're going to go under the car and sorry i don't have my tripod so i have to do this my hand shots a bit harder but this is your oil pan right here and right on the back you might be able to see that nut right there so you're going to either grab a <coughs> spanner or a soccer set to undo it. I'm going to use a soccer set because it's just easier. And I believe mine is, I think, a 17. Yep, it's 17. You can see the 17 millimeter soccer. So I'm just going to move in, restart the video, and I'm going to crack the uh, bolt. And then we'll start to, uh, we'll get ready to drop the oil out. So. So we're now at the oil pan. That's, yeah, that's the oil pan here. That's our drain plug. So what you're gonna do is just grab your socket, make sure it's in like, the undo. So you want it turning left. There we go. Not too bad. So she's now loose to be under my hand. So what you're gonna do is grab your oil pan, line this up, and get ready to undo this. I'm just gonna cut real quick. Um, I'm gonna show you doing it. I'm just gonna go deal with the dog. But um, yeah. So I'm just gonna make sure this is positioned right. And yeah, and then you can just do this by uh, undo this by hand. It's just easier. Try not to lose it in the oil. Try and just try and keep it in your hand. If not, just got the hand in there. It's best to have gloves anyway. But yes. So uh, back real quick. Okay. So now we're gonna undo the oil. You can see it's been dripping a little bit. But yeah. So, uh, Position this. Yeah, hopefully that's good enough. Yep, 
can always push in as you're undoing it. That way it gives you a better grip. Like that. And yeah, so yeah, that oil is going to drain into the pan, hopefully. But yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna let this drain out for a little bit until it's dripping. So we've got our oil drain bolt here. So we're just gonna change out the crush washer. So we can take that one off, grab your new one. You can see the difference. But yeah, so we're just gonna grab this one if I can pick it up, put it on, and we're ready to install that back into the car once the oil's finished draining. So yeah. So now I'm just gonna grab up the new bowl, uh, new washer, and I'm just gonna install it. So I just do it hand tight until I do the oil filter. So we'll move to that next. Alright, so let's see oil pan here. Find the oil pan. It's like literally right next to this cylinder thing. So I'm just gonna try and get a good angle for you. So there, that's your oil filter. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna spin this left. If it's too hard to undo by hand, you can either get uh I'm just gonna grab it. Something called an oil filter wrench, which kind of looks like this. Or you can even get. Oh, I don't know if I'm wrong, but something. Here we go. Sorry about that. That's like this, and it fits onto the end of it. This is for a different car that I used to have, but it would sit on it like that, but further up. See, this is this oil filter is too big for this one, but it would sit onto there, and you can undo it that way. If you can get one of these recommend it it's much better than the wrench because the wrench is dog shit but what can you do so but anyway all the thing under it and this is where you want your gloves so you just kind of spin it left after you cracked it I'm just gonna center it a bit better there we go just that way it's gonna start dripping out and yeah This you can drop into the bucket because it's going in the bin. Don't need to reuse this. There you go. And yeah, so I am going to take this out once this is finished drying off. Put that in there. Yeah, so I've also got a rag. So if you want to get some cheap rags, you can get uh, something called from, uh, from Super Cheap called that rag in the bag. It's like seven bucks, a whole bunch of just like cut up t-shirts and just oil rags like this. So they're not bad, but yeah. So I'm gonna let that drain out. So now it's time to prep the new filters. I guess you have the new filter. Pop just gonna have this film on there. Just gonna take the film off. And as you'll see, you have a rubber o ring. And this, you don't wanna put this on dry, so you can use the old oil, but I tend to just use the new oil, so I'm just gonna crack this open. Then they have a film on it, so. You're gonna grab your finger, stick it in there, and get it covered in oil. Then just move that back. And then all you gotta do is just light film of oil around the ring. That way it won't pinch, won't get caught, and she's ready to go on. And yeah, so I'm gonna cut back to under the car. Yeah, so now there's our oil filled where it's supposed to go. Got a new one, and you're just gonna line her up, then you just thread her on. This thing's just in the way, loves to be a pain. There we go. Yep, yeah, nice and 
awesome. It's fun. So yeah, now we're ready to move on to filling the car up. Or well, actually before that, I should mention that Zebra has got to tighten this up. So I'm just gonna go grab the wrench and we're gonna tighten that. So we're just gonna tighten this up. Just nice and snug. Don't wanna go too hard, you don't wanna strip the bolt. That's a whole new problem. There we go. Nice and snug. So we're ready to move to the top and start filling up. Okay, no, sorry about the noise. Neighbors thought it was a good idea to start vacuuming. So, uh, no, not bother me. But um, so now we're going to fill the oil back up. So, just gonna take your cap off. Like that. As you just put it there. Then you're just going to grab your uh, funnel. This was the one that I had in the oil, if you can tell from earlier. It has been wiped down. It is clean now because I forgot it. I left it in there. So, in there. And then I'm just going to put three liters in there. Um, and then I'm going to take it down, put it on the level ramp, and then check oil stick. Uh, and then go from there. More, add more. If it's too much, then. Yeah, that's why I'm not doing too much. You want to just do it bit by bit. So, yeah. Because you don't want to overfill it because that's not good. So I'm just going to chuck that there. And I'm going to put three litres in. So there you go. Never be too careful checking it. There's two meters. Yeah, beautiful. So I'm going to put the cap back on and then going to start the car up and take it off the ramp. Make sure it's on level ground. So, yeah, I'm just going to move this real quick and then just take it so And yeah, so you can cut the two once I've got it off the ground. But yes, so I have it on flat ground now. So we're just going to pull the dipstick out, which is located right here, then clean it off because that's the old oil. So, yeah. We use this as our indicator. So put it back in. Back in. And it's kind of hard to see on there, but yeah, we need a little bit more in there. So we'll move on. And we're going to fill it up again in two of the six at the full line. So I filled it up a bit more, and um, we'll check again, this is, you just keep rinse and repeat, pull it out, wipe it clean, back in, back in, back in, I'll try not to scrape it on any of the edges, and let's see if I can, just, so you can kind of see in between the two notches, it's about almost three quarters, oh, three quarters up there, if you can see there, so, Gonna add a little bit more till she's just below that little notch, like right there. You don't want it on over the left side for focus, you want it on the inner part, so make sure it's like right there. So I'm gonna just keep doing that and I'll come back. I've checked it, it's at the full line now. So what you're ready to do is put this back on, make it look nice, all straight, and then once you've done that, check the oil. You're just going to go underneath and have a look and see if there's any oil leaks. If there is, check you've done things up tight, make sure it's all good to go. And then once that, just start the car up and let it run for a little bit. And check for oil leaks again. If, if all good, then you're ready to put the bonnet down and your car's oil change has been changed. If not, you just want to go over the things that you've done to make sure they've been done correctly. So make sure the bolt's tightened but not too tight. You don't want to strip the bolt and oil filter to make sure it's done up right hand tight. And then yeah. So that's how you change your oil on a 2001 
Mitsubishi Lancer. So, thanks for watching.